Hi and welcome to another video about Easy Mobile Site Generator. In this video I'm going to be discussing the preview section that's built into Easy Mobile Site Generator. Um, th this comes automatically on every page that you're editing. Now there is a section in the defaults menu where you can switch off the preview mode so that this won't display on the bottom of each page but basically on every page that you've got this is a, a sample page that uh, on one of the demonstration sites that I'm doing as I'm busy developing the software the plugin and here's the normal editing screen where I'm editing all the details coming down and then you find down at the bottom your preview down here now this is a live preview this is the actual site itself how it would look on a mobile phone uh, it's, it's inside an image of an iPhone here now what I find is best is to actually do all my work in Google Chrome because I find that that gives a better rendition of the uh, website as it would look on a mobile it, it looks more accurate under Google Chrome than it does under Firefox or Internet Explorer so I do all of my work in Google Chrome if you look at it in Internet Explorer it will look very very slightly different in particular you'll probably find that if you've got a top bar on this top bar doesn't render properly in Internet Explorer now you're not really bothered whether it renders properly in Internet Explorer or not what you're bothered about is how the final website looks on a mobile telephone um, so because of that I tend to use Chrome and it gives me a very very good impression of what it's going to look like it's not 100% but it's as close as 90 something percent 95 97 98 percent accurate so that, that gives me a very very good impression um, so you can see here it's actually a, a full-on um, representation of what the page is going to look like I've got a map down here showing me the headings and things um, I've, I've actually got a direction section and I can even use the direction section inside the preview so if I wanted to go from one two three Park Avenue Manhattan can't spell Manhattan and then click directions you see it's done the directions for me and it's actually on the map for me as well in, interactively inside the preview um, this is an actual opt-in form here I click the call um, or that the menus work so if I click on contact us it takes me to a, a contact form as I said some things don't work what, exactly 100% you notice here that the the form itself run slightly underneath this scroll bar you wouldn't have a scroll bar on a mobile phone um, not not like this anyhow so those are the very slight differences that you get but it gives you a very very accurate um, rendition of what the mobile phone is going to look like and so you'd be fairly confident that whatever it looks like down here it's going to work so you see I went to a separate page there now if I was for instance to change the theme on this let's change from white on cream to what, what should we do blue on blue just so we get this um, and we can see the difference we just do an update and as soon as that's updated then the live, live site has changed and so is our preview that we get down so let's go back down to our preview and sure enough we see now that the preview has changed so we see what it looks like in that color scheme So very easy to use the preview mode. Um, if you want to turn it off, you can go to the defaults menu and you'll find a little checkbox down at the bottom of the defaults page where you can turn this off. But I leave it on all the time just so that I can quickly look and see what my sites are looking like as I'm busy changing, as I'm bidding, busy adding information. So whatever changes you make in in the pages here, uh, map settings, top bars, logos text inside the editing area adding other things in they all are reflected immediately down here so it, it's a great little tool for seeing exactly what you're doing without needing to look on a mobile phone now just for the sake of um, 
accuracy I do normally keep my iPhone and I also have an Android phone as well that I keep handy so if I want to double check and make sure that they look exactly how I think on the Android and the mobile the, uh, the, the sorry Android and the iPhone then I double check on there um, I don't do that very frequently now when I first started uh, doing mobile sites, I used to do it all the time. Now I'm confident that whatever it looks like on the preview mode here is what it's going to look like on the, the telephones. And so my usage of my iPhone and my Android to, to double check these things has actually reduced dramatically.